These young men are hard at work mining for gold in the eastern region of Ghana. What they're doing is illegal. They haven't gone through the stringent process of trying to get a license, but they're here with the consent of the landowner. Illegal mining, or galamse as it's called here, is taking place in countless sites like this across Ghana. The miners don't want to be filmed, but the leader of this group agreed to talk to us about why they're doing this. This galam said, yeah, at least every day you can get something to uh, feed your, your family. And that's why everybody is putting himself and I'm pushing himself into this system to support your livelihood. You see, that's it. But the work is dangerous. Is, is it worth it? It's so dangerous. Oh, okay. If you take good care of it, uh, it's not so much dangerous, as you are saying. They divert entire waterways in search of gold, and once they finish with the site, they often just abandon it. The small-scale miners who are licensed and regulated are required to reclaim the land. This group have been here for about a month now, and they say in the next few days they're actually going to be wrapping up. Now, they also say they're going to reclaim this land, but from what we've seen in this area so far, that just doesn't seem to be happening. This is just one of the abandoned sites we came across. And this is what's left of the River Brim, which runs through the area of Chebi. The methods the illegal miners use make the water murky and too dirty for the local community to use. They normally treat with mercury and then cyanide. And these chemicals are also deadly for our health. Bear in mind that the water they are dealing with are for drinking purposes. The boss of the government body in charge of regulating the mining industry admits that more needs to be done to tackle the problem. We were not firm enough to stem the, 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 the problem when it started. We did not nip it in the bud. So I think it is now for us to deal with it. We need the, the, the traditional leadership to be involved. We need the district assemblies to be involved. We need the, the public, the mindset, the public support. The threat of arrest or prosecution is no deterrent for the illegal operators. The police regularly catch some of the miners. As you arrest them, put them before court, the next time you find him at the pit again with the machine.